Hey there, guys. So today we're looking at Bannerlord actually running on the 2200G. Now, this is a, at this point, kind of old AMD APU, but the GPU is actually not that much weaker than what you can get currently. Pretty much the difference between this and something like, let's say, the 5600G is just, it really comes down to the fact that the GPU is a little bit better, just a tiny, tiny bit, bit better. It can clock a bit higher you can get memory speeds higher and of course you get a substantial improvement in cpu performance but this cpu or this apu rather i managed to get for 60 dollars like two years ago and i was very curious to see how it would perform in this game and here we're just doing a battle with about i think it's around 200 units this is just on a campaign that I've been playing and I was able to just load on in and honestly the performance was a lot more playable than what I was expecting. I mean if we look at the 1% lows they are not that low and of course this is at the lowest possible settings. But even then the game does not look that bad. The performance is pretty good. This is at 1080p resolution was not dropped and average fps is above 60 now obviously right now there's not much really going on on the screen and you're going to see that there is going to be some hiccups here and there as things get a little bit more intense i don't really like i feel like sieges are going to be where you're going to notice the biggest issue in the overworld map performance is perfectly fine you don't really need high fps for that in the battle here the performance again not that bad frame times the frame times are what like really blew my mind because look at those frame times the chart is just practically completely flat you're gonna see some spikes here and there but this is somehow more playable than back for blood was even with fsr and i really wish that this game had an fsr I, at this point i'm completely sold on fsr i think it's one of the best features that has come out for low-end gamers because it's going to bring a lot more games to a playable state in a market where getting a gpu is already difficult enough let alone in markets where gpus are extremely hard to come by and will cost sometimes months worth of salary so overall we're going to just keep this going again Sieges are really where you're going to see the performance tank. I did not get any footage of that, but I did do a siege on a castle, so it wasn't even a full city. And that's really where the performance started to tank a bit. But you'll experience that even with like a more powerful system. So really, overall, I was really, really impressed with the performance here. I actually had a blast playing through this. So I'm just going to leave it there. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to let you finish seeing this. Again, pay attention to those frame times, those 1% lows. Again, not the most intense battle going on here, but I feel like when you're playing the game day to day, this is going to be what you're really going to be experiencing most of the time. And honestly, this is pretty playable. And I think if you drop the resolution down to 720p, you will never run into issues. So at that point, it really just comes down to what you feel is right for your system and what you can tolerate. But this was just impressive performance for me. Like I, I was blown away by this because this game can be very intense if you're playing on a more powerful system. I normally play it on my laptop, which actually has a 2060, but it's a laptop. So not as good as the desktop one, but it's a it's 115 watts. So pretty decent performance and DLSS is pretty much the lifesaver so that I can actually play it at 1440p. But I wish this game had FSR. If it had FSR, it would be the cherry on top for the performance here. But I'll leave it there. You can see how the rest of the performance is as the battle really heats up. And this is where you're going to see a bit of spikes here and there. But I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.